Good morning. My name is Larry Kreps. I'm a, an elder here at First Baptist Church. And this series we've been doing is from a, a book that Pastor Mike Lingefelder wrote. It's Stepping It Forward. It's a walk through Ephesians. We've had uh, various people in the church take a chapter at a time and uh, basically summarize uh, those words written by, by Pastor Lingefelder. This book, uh, the book here, it's the forward. And what's it say here? I walk through Ephesians. This was originally published in 19, let's see, 2001, I believe. Let me check that one more time. A copyright 2011. Okay. So Ephesians, as many of you may know, is uh, instructions on, on uh, how to live a more godly life. There's several chapters here that deal with uh, the church. Uh, relationships and a lot of these talk about the family itself uh, the chapter I have today is a chapter uh, 35 and Christian fathers so with Father's Day just around the corner I thought it was pretty neat that I was given this chapter to report on and the uh, scripture today is Ephesians 6 chapter 6 verse 4 fathers do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. That's the verse that we'll be talking about. And as I read this, I uh, I have to look back over my life, and I've uh, I have some guilt, and I have some shame that I've uh, had not been that father that I should have been many times. That I've actually caused my children, uh, my daughter and my son, to have anger because of uh, how I responded to their questions or how I responded to their actions. But um, the Lord has forgiven me. I've asked uh, forgiveness for those mistakes I've made. And, and uh, both children turned out well. So I think that uh, when the smoke cleared, it worked out pretty well. But uh, this chapter talks about fathers have a very important role with their children. And uh, many people feel that, you know, it's the mother's role to raise the children it's a mother's role to get them off to school, to tuck them into bed, to read the Bible, and to uh, be that disciplinarian, to tell them what to do and when to do it and how to do it. And Father is that other guy that kind of hangs around. Well, Ephesians is not saying that at all. That says a father has an equal responsibility. It's a mother and father. When two marry, they become one. And it's the same thing as parents. It's not just a parent. It's parents together. I know in some households, the fathers leave and divorce and, and uh, mothers are left to raising children. We see that all across the United States that many, uh, many families are raised by one parent and that typically is the mother. But uh, that's not what Ephesians are telling us. The, the fathers should not be thought of as a secondary asset, but rather as important, just as important as the mothers. And the Father can have a very deep influence on children, if it's especially if it's a male child, I would say. Now, I'm not going to say especially, but a male child is going to look to the male father to see how he's supposed to respond, how he's maybe how he responds to women, how the father responds to the wife, the mother. Uh, that son may be taking notes as to how he should respond to women. Uh, a daughter may also be looking for a, a husband someday, and she may be, hopefully, if she had a good uh, father, be looking for somebody that would emulate her father. That would be that type of character. Uh, God has given the father the previous position of working alongside the mother and in nurturing the children and showing them how to use the tools of life. Now, I'm once again now reciting what Pastor Mike Lingenfelder has written in his book. And they say the Apostle, only, uh, Apostle Paul only mentioned briefly the father here. But what he, what he says has great importance. The first one is not to provoke a child to anger. So uh, one example he uses is a father who always said, yeah, okay, I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. I promise I'll do it. And this was a father, the example that he used, this was a father who just wanted to get the kids out of his face. He promised them anything they wanted to hear, just to make them go away and don't bother him. Well, little by little and over the months and years, the child learned that the father was a liar, that the father had made no intention of uh, honoring the promises he'd made. So uh, in the case here, the uh, the uh, child could count on his hand uh, 
know when his father will follow through. And the fathers must be very careful not to do anything that might provoke his child to anger. An example they gave was uh, this child had no confidence at all in his dad after that. The second part of this verse is that the to fathers to bring up the children in discipline and instruction of the Lord. So the, the dad cannot sit back and leave all the instruction and the discipline to the mother. She can't be the, the one who sets down the rules and enforces the rules. It's got to be joint affair. So the children need to learn, as the Bible teaches, and as Pastor Mike here has done in his book, that they have equal roles, and the children must see the mother and father on the same team, that they have the same set of rules, they have the same values, they have the same God. So uh, he's got to be there also to uh, show them that he's a... Uh, uh, and uh, fearful of the Lord, of the wrath of God. He's got to be there with them at prayer time, at prayer time, at meals. The children need to see that the father is their teacher, as the mother is, and he is also responsible to the Lord. Uh, children need to see the dad praying and reading scripture. They must know that the father is an essential part of their lives and is also seeking God's help to be a better father and a better parent in, in raising them. Uh, a good father should be ready to invest his entire life uh, to uh, into the children and show them that he receives his counsel from God. A father who, uh, I'm quoting now, a father who seeks after the Savior should have no problems fulfilling the commands written here in God's holy word. Once again, Ephesians 6, 4, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but instead... Bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. And we don't have to go to the uh, to the uh, the world to find out how to be good parents. Anything we need to know about anything in the world, we can find a Bible if we study it and learn how to use it. And Ephesians here has some good ex examples of how how the mother should be performing her duties, what the father should be doing, what the church should be doing, what children's responsibilities are, and. Um, in conclusion here, it says a challenge. If you feel that you have been provoking your children to anger, that they no longer respect you, that they're getting mad when you tell them no, they don't understand why they no, or whatever confrontation you have with them, you need to go before the throne of God and ask for guidance, ask for forgiveness, and you need to let the children know that you're doing that so you can correct them, correct their bad behavior, or redirect them, or get their attention focused on God, but do it with love, not anger. Don't provoke the children to anger. Do everything with love, and let the children know that you're doing it because you love them, and because you love the Lord. Will you share with them what God has shown you? Show the children what God has shown you. Let them see you seeking God. Let them know that you are a godly man, and they would want to follow in their father's footsteps. So once again, this is a series that we've been doing uh, on uh, Pastor Mike Lingenfelder's book. He wrote while he was pastoring a First Baptist Church in Douglas. And it's called A 39-Day Walk Through Ephesians. And several of us in the church are taking uh, turns doing different portions of this book. Uh, so I'm, mine today is number 25. And I'm trying to find out now how many we have left. I'm going to take a quick peek. We have 39 total, so we're up to 25 today. Did I say 25? Oh, still, 35. And it's 35 today, number 35, and it's a total of 39. So I hope this uh, teaching today uh, out of his, his book, out of God's Word, will help you in your life. Thank you, and good day.